My name is Gabby Williams. I'm from Reno, Nevada. Um, hobbies, I don't know, I just like to watch TV, paint, play with my cat. <laughs> she's my best friend. <laughs> she, she comes everywhere with me, so she's been in France with me, she comes to Chicago, and now she's in Hungary, so she's very international. And I always played because my older sister played, and you know, I would just be in the gym with her all the time. Uh, but I started to take it seriously when I was about 12 or 13. I wasn't sure, I mean, I, I went back and forth because I was doing track and I, I knew I wanted to get out of my hometown and, and far, <laughs> as far away as possible. And that meant getting recruited by a university and I wasn't sure if it was gonna be for basketball or track, but it led me to basketball. I'm, I'm happy with where I'm at now and I think it's all for a reason. Even when I was in college, I, f I faced a lot of um, obstacles and there was a lot of people telling me that, you know, I wouldn't make it professionally and I started to lose a lot of confidence in myself, um, but I had a really good last two seasons of college and uh, ended up getting drafted and I wasn't sure if I was going to get drafted high or what was going to happen, but I'm happy with how it worked out. Uh, my experience in Italy made me just want to quit. Um, because obviously the WNBA we don't get paid to very much as rookies and so in order to take care of myself and my family I have to play overseas so when I, if I when I was in Italy I was like okay well if this is playing overseas like I want nothing to do with basketball uh, and it turns out it was just a, a really bad club because um, when I went to Spain I loved it and um, yeah, like I took about a month and a half off from basketball in between that and uh, once I went to Spain though, I was like, okay, this being overseas can actually be a really great experience and I started to love it again. Uh, it was, I was really, really happy um, and content while I was in Montpellier. Uh, being half French, uh, it was really nice for me to spend so much time in France since I hadn't been there in I don't know how long and um, I hadn't seen a lot of my family in years. Some I hadn't even met some of their kids yet. So uh, it was really, really fun for me to be there in a place where I could speak the language because Hungarian obviously I, I don't know <laughs> uh, so I think it was a good year for me to grow um, especially basketball wise I remember the first game we lost pretty bad and uh, we couldn't really figure out why during the middle of the game um, I hurt my back that game so I, I didn't finish I only played like up to the third quarter but I just remember the first half thinking like just the way that they played, the offense that they ran, they, they worked together really well, and it was really hard for us to find a way to, to stop them. And that's how you can tell that this is a very professional club. It's not just about having the star players, like they put all the pieces together and work well together. I was, I was excited, um, but I mean, I was balancing a few offers and uh, I wasn't sure if I was ready to leave France yet just because I was so happy. But I think coming here, it was time for me in order for my career to grow, to be in a place where I wasn't as comfortable, but in the long run, being here will be really good for me. Uh, just how professional everything was. I mean, from the rehab center, to the way we run practice, to our expectations right off the bat. Uh, this is probably one of, probably the most professional club I've, I've been a part of, um, including like the WNBA, my team in Chicago doesn't have facilities like this. So I was really excited to come here. Uh, it's really difficult because of the virus um, to have expectations of what the season's even going to be. But I'm just, you know, if we have the chance to get to Hungarian Cup or the championship, obviously that's the top of our list is to win that. But uh, I just want to have another good solid season here despite the conditions we're playing under. Um, I would say it's a lot more physical and there's, um, it's a lot faster in the WNBA. But when you come to Europe, it's a lot more team oriented, I think, uh, especially if you get onto the right team. And it's a, a lot more fluid, the game, like you can switch more positions and, you know, be interchangeable. Uh, so I think that's the biggest difference. I, I like to play the two or the three. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like a gift and a curse that, you know, in Chicago, they put me one, two, three, four. And it's nice. I know that it helps the team and it's one of my strengths, but at the same time, it can be difficult to, to grow 
when you're not focusing on one position. So when I'm on my off time or training by myself, I try to focus on the two and three.